hey guys welcome back to my channel it's a girl sharon archings do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't share this share the link to your friends and families because there's a lot to learn in this channel <laughs> so today i'll be making this roach skirt this just draw ever skirt which is very good it literally took me 20 minutes to make i also have a tutorial on this top i think i'm going to leave a link so you can go check it out if you want because this top is gorgeous and it's so 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 sweet this skirt again do not forget to subscribe i i know i have not been getting the engagement that's why i didn't upload last week because i was really sad i i was really sad with my um engagement but it's not your fault baby so like this video subscribe also follow me on instagram asher and archie so let's just get straight to this video so guys first and first fold your fabric in two not like two equal part but use the circumference of your hip divided by four plus your allowance that's what you're going to use to determine the width please pardon the background voice i've got loud neighbors you know so now let's insert um length the length of our square by the way this is just the cutting i'm just going to upload the cutting of this dress this skirt i'm not going to upload the um the stitching part because i'm pretty busy this time around and i just want to do something for my channel i just don't want it to remain dormant so pardon me pardon me my dear so the length of my skirt was approximately 28 no was approximately 20, um, 30 inches yeah plus allowance 30 inches so now let's insert a um hip line you know the distance between the distance from your waist to your hip is nine inches for tall people then sh average height not short people eight inches so just just do that and connect it remember this is a dartless sketch this sketch has no dart so insert your waist measurement plus your um half inch sewing allowance or one inch sewing allowance do the same for the hips and the same for the for the hem just let's just do that let's make it snappy baby so as you can see you can see that this is not totally a pencil skirt because i wasn't going for at first i wasn't going for a pencil um look i added um i didn't make it pencil but at the end of the day i just sewed it to be a pencil skirt i didn't cut out anything i just used my measurement for it so now your dad we're going to add a dart we did add that um allowance but we're just going to add um a dart intake if i'm making sense your nipple to nipple divided by two now this is what you're going to do so which is four inches so just add four inches all around this is where mm -hmm. our rushing or our rich whatever is it rush or rich i don't know which pronunciation is right but i think you know what i mean so this is where our reaching channel is going to be so just create that channel whether you want it on the light side or on the left side so either the right or the left side baby so now that we are done with that we are going to create the back part remember this is not a stretchy fabric if you're using a stretchy fabric please do not bother to add um, a zipper allowance but my fabric i was using a satin fabric so i had to add a one inch zipper allowance which by the way if your fabric is super stretchy you can skip this part yep you can so um the ss part the part where i have the ss yep so this part i'm going to come in by one inch or i don't know take one inch in just from my front piece backwards i'm going to add um one inch so i'm going to take one inch all through the entire length and connect this so this is going to serve as my zipper allowance remember this skirt does not have a slit the ruching will serve as a slit so you don't need to do whether open or close slit or ever slit just i am so tired baby i am tired but i need to do this I really need to do this so let's just trace out let's just cut out the back piece first of all so we can manipulate the zipper allowance whatever baby lest i forget please do not forget to share this video give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i am really not impressed with what is going on but i can't force anybody to do anything but please just 
help me grow help me to help myself help me help me shine like this is the only way you can motivate me is by subscribing by liking by by being active on my channel and i i didn't really receive the audience i was expecting on my last video and it really killed my morale so please just help me out and subscribe okay i love you guys and you guys know that please do not forget to tell me what next you want me to upload i think if i have a lot of requests then i'm going to do that so that is that that is that and by the way thank you all that subscribed y'all that watched my video you all that give my video a thumbs up i really really appreciate i really appreciate guys you guys are the real mvp so back to the video so now we're done cutting the zipper parts so we have the zipper part the front part we're almost done with this tutorial we are almost done so let's just cut our channel our reaching channel the casing for the channel or the channel casing whatever i don't know english is not my language so do not kill me baby okay so i'm going to unpin it separate the front piece from the back piece remember we have two pieces for the back because of the zipper allowance so now let's create our routine casing or channel so from the waist i'm going to come down by one inch or more remember this is a bandless skirt this skirt has no band i'm going to use a bias strip to turn the uh, waistline so you can add a band if you want but i am not adding any band then on the hemline i'm going to go up by 1.5 inches and mark so my ruching casing is going to be a total of 28 inches from the top i went down by one inch from the lower part i went up by 1.5 inches now let's cut our casing for this our channel for this casing or casing for this channel why am i doing this to myself okay why so you recall my channel was 28 <coughs> 28 inches so i'm going to make my casing um and plus allowance i'm going to add allowance to this so i'm going to have a casing of 30 inches or a strip of 30 inches and the width will be two inches so i'm going to have a 30 inches by two inches or two length by width right the length is 30 while the width is 20 inches so i'm going to cut that out that will serve as a um, casing a ruching case so i've laid my skirt piece out i've laid it out all nice and beautiful and on that that line that line where i have my white chalk marked why am i talking this way why am i talking this way why the hell are you talking this way so i'm going to place my um casing my strip which is going to serve as my casing whichever when i call a strip or a casing you know what i mean so i'm going to place it there and sew on the center of it so i'll place it each side on um, the line and so on the middle part straight to my one inch my 1.5 inches above the hem the, the white chalk the place i have the white piece fuck shit so i'm going to go ahead and do that after which i'm um, quick info before you do anything make sure you pin because it helps so after sewing it on that center line i'm going to go ahead and fold in the sides by 0.25 or lesser inches so i'm going to do that and sew on top of it on both sides this is going to help my work be clean i actually have a video on how to create this i'm just doing this again like i said i wasn't going to talk about the stitching part because i already have a video on this but let me do that so now i'm going ahead to cut my strip which is going to go through this casing so my strip was a total of 60 inches so sister inches by 1.5 folded it in. so like i said i have a video on how to do this so i just wanted to show you guys how i cut my skirt piece so i'm just going to go ahead and sew this and put it on and show you how it came out and if this video if you think you still want to know how to sew it i will leave a link below and so you can go check my previous video on how to sew a roached gown so i'm just going to i only showed you guys the cutting part so let's just sew this and try it on so you guys can see what it looks like baby oh yeah give them give them give them hot hot god this dress is everything this dress is all shades of 
gorgeous and i also have a link i have a tutorial on the top so i'll drop a link down below you can see the skates can be worn two ways the pencil look and the um ruching look whatever please do not forget to subscribe because this is what subscribing for give this video a thumbs up share my link to your family and friends please support me guys oh my god i look hot so guys i'll see y'all next week thank you all for watching i love you bye